Hi, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library. And for today's STEM activity, I am going to show you how to make a, a mouth harp or a DIY harmonica. For this activity, you are going to need a pair of scissors, a ruler, a straw, two craft sticks that are the large size. So these are not your regular size popsicle sticks. These are the larger ones. And you're going to need three rubber bands, and at least one of those rubber bands needs to be a wide rubber band. So one of the thicker ones, they're about a quarter inch thick. Um, the other two can be whatever size you have on hand. They don't have to be the thick ones. Um, usually it's a little bit better if they aren't the thick ones because you have more space to work with. But you do need at least one that is thick. So to start out with, you're going to take your craft stick and you are going to stretch your rubber band around it vertically. So if this is our craft stick, we're going to do it the long way, not the small way, so the long, along the way. So to do that, you're going to put it in the center of the top here, hold it down with one finger, and stretch it down to the center of the other side, like that. Um, sometimes when you do this, um, one side winds up more stretched than the other. So just double check that they're both stretched about the same. If one side is stretched more than the other, just pull on it and adjust it. Um, so take some from the less stretched side and pull it over to the more stretched side if that has happened to you. Um, it does not always happen. So you want your rubber band stretched across your popsicle stick like this. So the next thing you're gonna do is trim two pieces of straw. This is why we need our ruler. You want your straw pieces to be about an inch. So you actually want them a little bit larger than an inch. So we're gonna go for an inch and a quarter. So if you look at your ruler, and mine's kind of got a pattern on it, so it's harder to see. So we have our one inch mark here, and then we have these slightly longer marks among these little marks. So the little marks are eighths of an inch, and these longer marks are quarter inch marks. So that's our quarter inch mark that's our half inch mark. So we're gonna cut at a quarter, one and a quarter inches. So we're gonna measure that right about there. It does not have to be perfect. So if your straw is just a little off, that's fine. I'm actually gonna use the same straw piece to measure the next one. So I'm gonna line the two up at the ends, hold it up against the straw, and then take it away before I cut. So the rest of the straw you don't need. You can save it. You can use it to make another one of these. Um, if you and a friend are making it, you guys only need one straw. You'll need two of everything else, but you only need one straw um, because you can get at least two more of those out of the straw. You do not want to cut on the bendy part. The bendy part is no good to us, so don't make, don't use the bendy part, but otherwise you can get a couple more pieces out of that straw, so don't don't just throw it away. So you're done with your ruler, and we are going to take one piece of straw. We don't need the other one just yet. We're going to take one piece of straw, and we're going to slide it under the rubber band. Make sure your rubber band doesn't twist like mine just did. You're going to slide it under the rubber band, and you want it about there on your stick. That is about, if we want to use our ruler to measure... That's about an inch and a half from the end. Um, you just want it away from the end so that you can tie the ends together here in a second, and you'll see that now. So next, you're gonna sandwich your other popsicle stick on top of this. It's okay if the, um, if the straw gets squished a little. So you're gonna sandwich it on top, hold it in one hand, and we're gonna wrap a rubber band around this side. So we're gonna rubber band it together on the outside side of the straw. So we have our straw, we have our two popsicle sticks, and we're going to come on this side of the straw, so right here. And we're going to rub it back, band of these two together. And to do that, let me back up and show you guys, because sometimes rubber banding can take practice. We adults can take that for granted, but it does take some practice. So you're going to hold the rubber band in your hand, and you're going to set it on there like that. You're going to pull it tight and twist it. So that's pull it tight, twist it, and then wrap it around. Twist, wrap. And you just keep doing that until you don't have any extra rubber band left. You don't have to pull it super duper tight, but it's gonna 
it's going to hold it fairly tight. Um, we might adjust that later. If we find that it is too tight, we can take one off. Let me see. We can do a little bit less. So we, we can adjust that later if we need to. We don't want our straw completely squished. So next, we're going to take our straw and we're going to slip it between the two um, popsicle sticks, but we're not going to worry about the rubber band. So it's going to sit on top of the rubber band. So this one we put under the rubber band and then we sandwiched. This one we're going to just put between the two popsicle sticks. So like that. So you don't have to put it between the rubber band and the popsicle stick. I'm just going to sit there like that and we're going to do the same thing with this end. We're almost done. We're going to rubber band our end together. Oops, not our straw. <laughs> Make sure you're to one side of the straw and you haven't caught the straw in it. So you can adjust these straws. You can move them down. You can slide them around. That's going to adjust your pitch of your mouth harp. But what you're going to do is you're going to hold it up to your mouth right here. So you're going to hold it like this in your two hands. You're going to put your mouth right here and you're going to blow through it. So it should make this sound. Kind of like a kazoo. It's, it's a pretty hideous sound. <laughs> but that's okay. It's also fun. And you can annoy people with it. So I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys make some cool mouth harps. I would love to see what you do. I'd love to see what you experiment and play with it. You can um, use this design in a lot of ways. You could use the really jumbo popsicle sticks. Um, you could use bigger straws. You could use littler straws like the coffee straws. Play with the design a little bit. Challenge yourself. See if you can come up with a different sounding mouth harp. But make this one too. And we would love to hear from you. We'd love to see what you make. You can send those to us at our Facebook, which is Huntsville Madison County Public Library. Thank you.